This is episode 10 of Subnautica, oh sorry, episode 11, Below Zero, Let's Play. Um, on the last episode, basically got my base together, got a lot of rare materials, made a lot of cool stuff. I still don't have a laser cutter, but I have upgraded my prawn suit, so it's got a lot more depth now. And yeah, let's see how far we can get this game in uh, leveling our base and making it complete. Then we can focus on the game and the story. I'm also going to try to make one of those big square bases, so I'm going to need a lot more glass. And I'm going to try to put beacons in areas which I haven't been to yet, just to get a better lay of the land. I know the map in Below Zero is not as good as Subnautica, so I'm going to have to make a few adjustments. Alright, so, starting off, I'm going to be putting the whole bottom floor up here in the top floor and that way I'll be able to make space from here across ways and kind of even the place out a bit and if it permits I can have a cool walkway for my uh, prawn suit I might even uh, swap these things across if I do that then that can be a control room which is also pretty cool <clears throat> All right, so uh, what I was currently doing was trying to uh, make thermal and a gold and titanium, but I need a lot more of it. But I do have quite a lot of gold, to be honest, so let's have a look at that first. Gold. God, I'm going blind. Then we will swap the batteries that are dying. One for you, one for you. Take two of you. Alright, titanium should not be too hard to find, so I'm going to go out on my own for this one. Any titanium is good titanium. Meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I'll probably need a few more, but not too many more because it does have some crazy reach on it. Okay, that's good. Titanium. 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 Not want to pick salt up. Gross. <laughs> Uh, since this is very rare, while we're here, we will grab all the table coral that we can. The oxygen goes a long way. Copper. Genium. 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 Silver. And we'll take two of you. Let's go back to base. <clears throat> Once I make a control room, I won't need a beacon for my main base anymore, which is good. Beacons are not very attractive as a uh, base locator. Not sure what the actual base locator looks like, but I'm assuming it's going to be better than that one. Alright, 
We have a ton. So, before we do that, let's save. Our base has 650 power, but that's also with the bioreactor, so we're not going to count that. That might be a spare room once we get proper energy into our systems. <clears throat> All right, so basically we're going down. I'll grab some of you. Left. And this is where the first thing should be. Yep. Let's build a second one. Wow, the range is nuts. Is that already going to my base? Yep. <laughs> there you go. Like I said, nuts. If that's the case, I wouldn't mind having it somewhere a bit neater. Like maybe underneath, oh that'll look good. Looks like it draws a line there. <laughs> All right, well, it's connected, so. to be honest that's a bit disappointing we might need to make a secondary reactor so we need aerogel and magnet magnetite to make aerogel we will need gel suck and ruby Wait, what? Oh yeah, I did say why I said gel second. So organics, no rubies. But we do have organics to deposit. One, two, three, four. Interesting, why was I just picking it up? Either way, back to it. The lights still flicker, which isn't that great, but oh well.
All right, let's build a second reactor and hope that it helps this situation. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. That's good. Get all the glass we can as well, because we do need that. Oh, laser cutter, hello. Oh, wow, okay, that's not where I was going to go in the video to do that, but apparently it's right here. So, it's time for the big redo. <clears throat> I'm actually going to my seam off and just go on a bit of a little quest. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm going to never redeem it seam off. The sea truck's terrible. Alright, I'm also only after titanium. Ideally, taking the prawn in for mine would be good, but that's a bit too um, a bit too time-consuming, a bit too far. I'm gonna need eight titanium for the first wall. Oh, done. And then I can just deconstruct all the containers from there. I think I'm going to keep the same setup I have on the ground, minus the coffee machine, it seems pretty useless. Maybe I can even use the jukebox, who knows. But I will actually do that wall first so I can put my moon pool there and just see if it actually looks good. See if the legs stick out and whatnot. All right, so when we come in, this is where everything will be. So that's the wall that I had the stuff on before. That seems fine. I think it looks like I have an extra wall, so it's going to be something. Could even put my fish tank in there, that gives me a whole room to use. <laughs> I'm starting to like the idea of what I'm doing now. 
Um, silver. Magnetite. You're an organic. Gold. Unfortunately, that's the first wall we need to get rid of because uh, I'd like to test the stuff and things. Useless number one, go away. Not useless, but I will destroy you anyway. Hopefully that wasn't breaking down of a wiring kit, because I'm pretty sure I needed one of them. No, maybe not. Excellent. Alright, so now... Let's add our stuff. Yeah, I reckon a moon pool there might look nice. Let's let's have a look. So I'm not destroying this one, I'm destroying the back one. Which means I will need to take my prawn suit out. And get my glass back. You are back. And let's see how your little leggies go. And how you look. You've got two leggies. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's equal, it's balanced. And a moon pool on the other side wouldn't really equal out. I mean, I could always just have that as a platform for my, uh, suit because it can jump and it's got its own bridge. It's pretty though, I do like it. Scan upgrades too.
All right. Yeah, that's walkable. I'll, I'll walk it. I mean, that's going to be where the Seamoth needs to scan for upgrades to begin with. Oh, Thunderstorm. Actually. You know what? That even fit? that concept that's coming along millhouse but I do need a controller room so where could that go where is a room for that could I get that water filtration upstairs or could I use upstairs instead? Like that. Yeah, that's a vibe. Oh yeah, that's a vibe. Oxygen. All right. Um, so I'm going to use up materials right now and have a look and see what I need to make these rooms. Let's go have a look. So for that ridiculous room, we need pal steel ingots times two. Welcome to board, Captain. Uh, what do we need for the scanner room? We only need one wiring kit for that. Oh, wow, it's weird. <laughs> I'm lost with uh, these two things here. But at least I can see both my things on entrance, which is really cool. Um, so it would be crafted and I need a wiring kit. That's my control room built. I need glass and a wiring kit. No, wait, no, I've already made the control room. I can take that off my uh, thing. So now we need uh, gold, I think it's gold. And a coral. 
as an organic. What? It's already complete. Alright then, what was I looking at? Alright, no, so it's just a large room, so I need a pal still ingot. Ingot. I chain even lithium. I'm just gonna take one quick break. I will be back. don't have any of the pal still ingots so I'm going to have to make I need two quads a fabricator again oh, come on let me put you somewhere sure oh there we go 1150 that's a good power amount um pal so titanium and lithium This way they get windows on all the sides as well, I think, possibly. Alright, it's time to get to work. So, let's start off with what's directly in front and to the right. Titanium, copper, lead quartz. also like to test why you can't build on walls that have been reinforced. And if it's only an outside thing. Oh, you can. Look at that. 
Well then. Well, well, well then. My life is a lie. Well, that just means that I'm going to need a lot more of the other stuff. I want the front of my base to be like that though. Mm. I mean, yeah, I could just give a little more story. <laughs> Alright. That should be enough. Once we reinforce the entire upper section, we can go back to our main mission of uh, decking it out. We'll go inside and see how big that uh, big base section is. I haven't been inside there yet. It'll be interesting to have a look at.
All right, let's go back. It's time to do some remodeling. So everything will be glass except for the main component. Let's go check it out. Welcome aboard, Captain. So we've got Cyclops and Seamoth. And we've got the food and drink room with the office and the main room. Oh wow, this is huge. I have like two whole aquariums in the middle and beds and everything. Wow. It looks like it comes with its own reinforced bulkheads because, uh, yeah, it's too massive to not have them. All right. So to reinforce the top walls, we need lithium and lots of titanium. Luckily, we have a fair bit of lithium and a fair bit of titanium. Now, that's going to be glass, and I was originally going to have the sides glass as well. But realistically, it's got to be like the main base, so that wall gets kept free, and that wall gets kept free. It's not like I can really put glass anywhere else anyway, is it? Alright, let's go. There, I need to take them off. And I also need to test that I can actually build lots of lockers, so titanium. Let's start with that. It's also almost like I'll be able to fit five. Huh. Maybe I can. But do I want to? Will it be ugly? Hmm. Good try, good try. Let's 
salt. One more room to reinforce. Uh, theoretically, I haven't made one of these in a below zero yet, so let's have a look if we can do anything with these. Nope. It's just a bigger locker. Fair enough. Alright, let's uh, reinforce that wall, and we are done for that level. Fifty-two integrity, that's what I want to see. Bit of integrity. Of course, we still have a ton of copper. Oh, too much copper, alright. Um, quartz. Bust me, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I do have some extra space now, but to be honest, so maybe I can do something with that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it. Alright, then we have gold, silver, diamond crystals. Gold. Silver, diamond, crystals. I forget you. It's a lot of silver.
Oh, I'm missing quartz, alright. Seek fluid intake. I better go do that first. Vital signs stabilizing. Crystals, kyanite, green stuff, ruby, quartz, glass, and these things. And what's on the bottom right? Uh, lithium, nickel, magnite. Okay, let's make that salt. Just get rid of all this salt. And I can put signs up telling me which way I'm going, which would be great. And take your upgrades back. Got lithium, nickel, and the elusive magnite. Cave visit soon. Oh, we got a kyanite. Where'd that come from? Kyanite. And our last four lockers, which I remember. Got materials, materials. Organics, organics. Mats. Yeah, I find that thing completely and utterly useless, to be honest, at a tracker thing, so that's gar garbage as far as I'm concerned. They count as mats. And we got the organics. Do 
do cave sulfur first. Pearl. Then the weird stuff. Alright, I'm going to call it a night in a minute because there is a super red moon tonight and I want to get some photos of it. Um, Alright, let's see how much glass we can... Uh, fit this base with. Alright, so it's only minus one. It's really good. That's what I was hoping for. Open dome bases are very attractive. base from here. Clear top. Alright, I will be back later after I take some photos of the moon. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Almost there with my base. Not